Hey, I'm Anthony Romano, and the title of this video is Hurry the Hell Up and Start Taking Apple Cider Vinegar Already. <laughs> and if you don't know what that is, it's this stuff, and it's super powerful, and a lot of people will tell you, oh, it's good for you, whatever, but they don't know how impactful this stuff is. And it's so cheap, it's so beneficial. People don't give it justice because they don't know exactly how it works. And after you watch this short video, you will know how it works and how important it is and how much it can improve your life. So before I get into this video, I ask you to like the video because if you do, that will make YouTube show my videos to more people who have similar interests to you and that will help my page grow. That's all you have to do to help me and the only downfall that could, you know, results for you is that you see more of my videos on your feed and if you don't want to watch them you don't watch them but even best case scenario you start learning about more stuff that's going to change your life dramatically so like the video follow me on instagram and youtube and also look in the description for my giveaway my ketone giveaway i'm doing currently and also go to my website romanoketo.com if you want to work one-on-one -on -one. Uh, but i have plenty of other free videos out there that can give you loads of information as well Okay, so what's so special about this stuff? Everybody seems to say, oh yeah, it's good, but nobody really knows how to cut through the bullshit and basically tell you why you should actually take it. Okay, by the way, this is Bragg's apple cider vinegar, raw, unfiltered with the mother, which is the probiotic bacteria in there. And that's the only kind you wanna get. I mean, I'm sure there's other brands that are good, but you never wanna get the pills. You never wanna, you know, do some sort of sipping on it through a straw. You don't wanna do any of that. It'll ruin your teeth. This is non-negotiable, I'll explain it later in the video. Let's get into the benefits first before I explain them. Overall, this stuff can change your life because it's going to, basically, it's one of the easiest steps you can do to overhaul your metabolic health, so basically your metabolism health, uh, blood sugar, insulin control, it can help you build muscle better, burn fat easier, less likelihood of being hungry all the time, uh, also, of course, there's the beneficial bacteria for your stomach. There's also the acid, which can help increase your stomach acidity, which is very important for nutrient breakdown, uh, minimizing gas or bloating or any, and also misdigested food, which can lead to flare-ups in your skin, etc., etc. There's a lot of benefits, but I'm going to get in them. The number one most powerful one is that this stuff can rehaul your metabolic health because most people are not as insulin sensitive as they should be. Most people have excess blood glucose reactions to foods more so than they should. And if there's one thing we know from studies, there's boundless amounts of evidence on this stuff that people will take apple cider vinegar before a sugary meal and the blood glucose response is severely diminished. Like we're talking like 50% or more blood sugar spike diminished. And the reason why is because of the acetic acid in the apple cider vinegar. Acetic acid does most of the work of the actual benefits here. It's not even necessarily the probiotic bacteria, which is also beneficial. And I'm not going to get into the benefits of certain gut flora, etc. But basically, the bacteria is not even the topic of this video, but it is going to benefit you and build up that better immunity, better gut environment. But Let's go back to the acetic acid. So the acetic acid is going to basically shuttle glucose from the food into your muscles where you want it to go because that's going to make your muscles fuller. It's going to actually help to basically uh, get a better response from the glucose and that could be beneficial for muscle building. And by having a better response to glucose, you are not going to be as hungry because you're not going to have excess blood sugar floating around. You're going to have better focus because you're not basically on this volatile roller coaster of blood sugar. Also, insulin sensitivity, I've explained this in many videos, is key for good ability to burn fat and good ability to build muscle. If you're already overweight, it's going to be hard to achieve those things. And doing this and minimizing the blood sugar response from certain foods is optimal at most meals because you want your body to handle sugar effectively or else you're going to crash later. That is the whole reason behind hanger. It will get rid of hanger or at least make a significant difference in affecting that for you, even if you're somebody who's overweight or struggles with that. Now, as far as the bodybuilding side goes, getting more better shuttling of glucose into your muscles, of course, has obvious benefits. Of course, sensitizing that insulin response is going to be beneficial for, you know, making gains, okay? And maintaining a stable blood glucose environment is key for longevity. And the body was not meant to have volatile blood sugar spikes all the time. This is not, most people have this. And this is one of the best supplements you can take to minimize that. 
And the way they use that is essentially they'll take a tablespoon before eating a high carb meal, which is one of the best ways you can start to use this right away. But there's other scenarios where you will want to use apple cider vinegar as well, because I generally recommend, you know, one to three tablespoons throughout the day optimally before your meal okay if it's a protein dense meal as well not even just a carb dense meal the acidity from the acetic acid will help break down the protein protein needs to be digested with acidity carbohydrates digest in a more alkaline environment and protein digest in a very acidic environment so adding in acetic acid for most people like 99 percent of people unless your stomach is just like a vulture and ab well actually our digestive system is very similar to a vulture uh unless your stomach acidity is off the charts or you're taking stomach acid supplements, like out the yin yang, this stuff will get better digestion of protein, better amino acid synthesis, because you have more of it actually getting digested properly. If you don't have enough acidity, you're not gonna digest anything properly, you'll have gas all the time, and you will not be feeling good. This stuff will enhance the absorption of protein because of that, because it's adding the acid where it needs to go in your stomach. And that can play into so many other issues, because a lot of people will get skin issues because they're not digesting food properly. Adding to the digestive ability of your stomach and your body is going to minimize flare-ups in skin. It's going to minimize other compounds that don't get broken down fully and just lure around in your digestive tract. Um, on top of that, of course, the probiotics are beneficial, uh, but the main thing here is this is a fermented food. If you think about humans in our evolutionary context, we naturally crave fermented food because... Well, there are hormetic benefits to it, so stressing benefits to it. But the main thing is, we would have ate foods that were old, rotten. We have a taste for them. People like cheese. People like dairy, milk. Uh, even there's many cultures where they have intentionally rotten food. And this is because we have a taste for it because the ba we are bacteria. Every cell in your body is bacteria. That's the mitochondria of your every single cell. And they are the, one, the part of the cell that does the most work. And getting in beneficial bacteria is, of course, you know, really going to help you out. But the main point is we naturally crave raw and fermented foods because we would have been eating them for thousands and thousands of years. And this is one way to get that in because most people do not go, do not have an abundance of fermented food in their diet. And that again ties into the bacterial uh, nutritional benefits as far as those go. Uh, overall, the number one reason I'd say people should take this is because it, it basically can help you bring your metabolic health to a baseline, and that will give you a better ability to work on your body composition goals, muscle building, fat loss. It will help a lot with minimizing constant hunger cravings, going to sleep hungry, and overall, there it it's synergistic with so many different ways that it works. A lot of the reason I take this is even in a bulking context, I will take this before very heavy protein-dense meals because the acidity will help break down the protein more before carb meals it'll help me to prevent having a super over reaction of blood sugar spike and again that plays in well to smoothness of thought to cognitive health there's a lot of other benefits that are more than simply the cosmetic now last thing i'm saying in this video is the best ways to take this stuff okay so you don't want to get capsules it's a waste most of them do not end up doing what you want them to do the bacteria is also not going to be in the capsules. So people, if you've ever had this stuff, you know that it tastes horrible and you got to be careful not to choke yourself while you drink it because it's bad, but you get used to it. But here's the solution, okay? This is my solution. I am putting a patent on this solution. No, I'm not, but like I probably should. Uh, you get one of these like little Mio liquid type things. Don't get Mio because it's sweetened with a, sul a sulfate and potassium and I think some of them with sucralose. Get a stevia flavored water sweetener okay you get that you squirt a bit in the you know you get a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar you put it in a cup and you can squirt squirt a little bit of flavoring in there as well and what that will do is basically it actually will mask the taste a good bit just don't use an artificially sweetened one just people know this brand so i talk about it and you don't want to water it down as much because the acidity can still damage your teeth you don't want to sip it through a straw as much as people say you can it will mess with your teeth and you don't want that so because it can break down the enamel on your teeth what you could also do if you're in a fasted state you could put a little bit of baking soda like a quarter teaspoon of baking soda in this and that will neutralize the acid and it actually won't taste as difficult to consume however you never want to do that before a meal because baking soda before a meal will basically ruin your digestive environment temporarily because it will reduce the acidity that is necessary in your stomach so don't ever do that one before a meal but if you're going to fast for the next seven to eight hours and you're having this in the morning then you can do that and then eventually before time to have another meal you should be fine however never do the baking soda one before then 
But again, that's another hack to get this stuff in your body without killing yourself or wanting to kill yourself. My preferred method is to squirt something in there um, that is stevia sweetened natural flavoring and that will make it a lot easier and you won't have to draw out the beverage um, and basically constantly be, you know, destroying your tooth enamel. Okay, that is it for this video. Like it. Please subscribe, follow my Instagram, go to my website, RomanoKeto.com for coaching, for programs, for books, all that other stuff. I have plenty of other free videos you might enjoy and hurry up and start taking the damn apple cider vinegar. <laughs> Anthony Romano, peace.